What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend, but we got to talk about the Portland Trailblazers. It looks as if this team has officially entered the tank race if they have not already. Uh, they ruled out Damian Lord last night randomly with a calf injury. And yeah, this team sucks. They just suck really badly. There's truly only one man that can save this franchise. And that man is Victor Webanyama. So today I am giving the Portland Trailblazers Victor Webb and Yama and making all of us Blazers fans dreams come true. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like in this one. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. As always, greatly, greatly appreciated, man. Yeah, it's been a rough season for us Blazers fans. And I know there's some other teams that have it rough as well. But just imagine getting off to what it was. What was it? A 10 and 3 start. Then you start to, you know, then you're buying in like, oh my goodness, this team is really going to be good this year. And then you, you you just turn around, you start sucking. And at the trade deadline, you make the team worse by trading away Josh Hart. And yes, Cameron Reddish has been cool and all. And I'm not, you know, no, I love Cameron Reddish and all, but like Josh Hart definitely brought a lot to this team. It did suck that he wouldn't shoot the ball. Regardless of that, Dame is having his best season and this team is complete trash around him. We really can't trust anyone. Injuries have not helped either. And then we got one of the worst head coaches in the league, Chauncey Billups. He is so bad. Imagine 16 blown leads, 16 double digit blown leads on the season. It is absolutely insane. Imagine watching your team be up 20 and be like, oh my God, oh my goodness, we lost this game. That's how it feels every time this team goes up like 20 or double digits. We know where we're going to blow it. That's just how bad it feels, man. It's crazy. But that all changes today. Webb and Yama. You are a blazer. We're assembling the rest of the season. Honestly, I might just binge Dame for the rest of the season. That way this man doesn't win us more games because we got to try to get some lottery luck. I mean, regardless, even if we don't win it, I'm rigging it for us. The Blazers are going to win this lottery today. That's all I got to say. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a player props app that allows you to choose overs or unders on your favorite players that you enjoy watching each and every day. It is available on mobile or desktop, and this is how it looks. They give you the number, and you're going to choose over or under on it. They pretty much have every sport you can imagine, whether it's soccer, NFL, NHL. They have a ton of different options, so this is how it works. You choose between two to six players, two being three times your money, all the way up to six players, 25 times your money. Price Picks has just elevated my watching experience to a whole new level. So if you want to sign up, I also have some of my entries as examples here. That way you can kind of see how it works. But if you want to sign up, links in the description, use code CRUSHABLES. They match your deposit dollar for dollar up to $100. Thank you, Price Picks, for sponsoring today's video. We got Milwaukee and Memphis in the finals, which is a little different. And the Memphis Grizzlies go on to win the championship. If we go take a look at the player stats to end off the season before we head into the offseason. Yeah, 31 from Dame, 21 from Simons, and then 20 from Jeremy Grant, 13 from Nurkic, and then 10 from Cameron Reddish. So let's go ahead and get into this most important offseason. Yeah, this team better do something this offseason because if this team doesn't do anything to put a contender around Dame, the man just needs to request a trade. And I love Damian Lillard, but they are just like, I don't know what they're doing, man. They're just lying to him, I feel like. Like, they're saying, oh my goodness, we tried. We tried to do this. We tried to do that. But they never do anything. So, like, I don't know. I'm going to try to be positive today. I've, I've done enough ranting. So, uh, let's just go ahead and see if we get lucky in this lottery. Like I said, though, if we don't get lucky, I'm still giving us number one overall pick regardless. So, I'm just going to see if I can have it, you know, happen naturally here. That'd be kind of cool if 2K just gave us the number one pick without me having to do anything. But... Don't really see that happening. So we got Thunder Nets Raptors so far. Number 11 is going to be the Knicks. So they had the Knicks not make the playoffs. Oh, that's a Dallas pick. Never mind. So then the Mavericks not make the uh, playoffs because I need that Knicks pick. That's going to be another first round pick we can use in this draft. Pelicans number 10. That's from the Lakers. So they got the Lakers not making it either. Wizards is going to be number nine. Please don't jump up, Washington. Stay at nine. And of course, we fell to nine. So the Wizards jump up to one. Thank you. Washington for your number one overall pick you are sticking at nine it was supposed to be reverse where the Blazers have that so I'm giving the Blazers number one overall pick we also have a uh, number 23 via the New York Knicks so yeah Victor Webb and Yama we're drafting him on the Blazers here and I couldn't even be happier to do this man get out of here Chauncey Billups you are so bad you don't make adjustments you still haven't learned that Jeremy Grant is not a good point on attack defender and he's a better help defender it just Boggles my mind how much Chauncey Billups has not shown. Uh, and then Scott Brooks, I'm going to go ahead and probably fire him as well. I'll keep the rest of these guys uh, for now. And then head coach, let's go see uh, who we can get. So we got Gray Popovich. He's not coming to Portland, obviously. You got uh, Dalton Schultz, Dallas Cowboys tight end, I guess, is coming to 2K to coach now, which is kind of funny. 
Uh, we got Moss, Snow, Bowen. I mean, anything is better than what we had in Chauncey. But honestly, I don't think Chauncey's actually going to get fired in real life. I really don't. I think they're going to keep him, which is the sad part about it. Uh, we have to hope he's just better next year because, wow, he has been bad this year. Um, Don't really like any of these options, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to hire one, maybe like, I guess if Taylor Jenkins was available, we got like Jacob Underwood, Wendell Anthony's got a triangle, Greg Popovich, Stauffer, uh, Taylor Jenkins, Schultz. Give me Schultz, I guess. I'll take the Cowboys, Ted, and Dolan Schultz. Welcome to Portland, even though I have no idea who you actually are. Maybe he's a real person in real life. I'm not sure. But Joe Prunty, you'll be my assistant head coach. Why not? And then let's just grab a shot, doctor. And I'll see you all on draft night where we take our two draft picks. Obviously, you know, one of them going to be Victor Webb and Yama. And uh, let's just go to that now, actually. So I don't think there's anything I want to do on draft night. There is one thing that we could do, and that is trade use of Nurkic away, because obviously with Webb and Yama joining us, he's probably going to be not really part of the rotation. So, I mean, he could, you know, he could have him come off the bench, but don't think I really want to do that. Now, when it comes to Nurkic, he has three years left in his contract. I don't know how many teams are lining up for this contract. I really don't. I'm not really sure if there's a team that would even want Nurkic. The only team I can think of would be like the Dallas Mavericks, like this, where they're not going to have Jaden Hardy. Instead, it's something like this, where they give us like Davis Breton's bad contract because the money matches perfectly. And then let's say it's Nurkic for Breton's and then maybe like, I don't know, like a protected first or something crazy like that. I have no idea. And we give them like, two seconds something along the lines of this that's the only thing i can think of that like if nurkic was traded it'd be something like this i don't even know if you get a first round pick i would assume maybe you get like a lot of protected first i wouldn't mind like three or two seconds as well so yeah nurkic's trade value i don't really know what it is but since the mavericks don't really have to give up too much i guess we're gonna go ahead and make this trade happen so nurkic is gone and now we can go ahead and draft our franchise center victor webb and yama welcome to portland it feels great to be here and number 23, what do we got here? So we got Colby Jones, Trayvon Smith, Sid, 6'8", small forward. Not looking too bad. We could take him as if we wanted to. Derek Lively, Julian Phillips, Chris Murray, Dylan Mitchell, Harris Hunter, Harrison Ingram. Backup center, our backup point guard, Marcus Sasser. I'm just trying to see if there's anyone else that I want before I just settle on one of the... Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and settle on Sid here. Uh, 19 years old. 6-8. We need length anyway, so welcome to Portland, Sid, and that will be my draft. So just like that, Victor Webb and Yama, of course, number one, and we got Sid at number two, or at 23, I should say. So welcome to the team. Watford, Keon Johnson, and Kevin Knox, I will accept. We'll bring them back, and then qualifying offers, Reddish and Thibel. I do plan on bringing back both of them, probably. We'll see, but I'm so happy to have Webb and Yama here in Portland. We do need to resign Jeremy Grant. Uh, it says he only wants this much money, but Jeremy Grant is going to get a bad contract this offseason. I honestly think he's going to get around 30 million. And it's going to look like it's going to look like a Tobias Harris contract going down the line, but I think that's what he's going to get. And Portland can't afford to lose him, so he kind of has all the leverage in the world on us. So I'm going to go ahead and sign Grant to that bad contract that I think he's going to get this offseason. And don't get me wrong, he's the best power forward we've had in years, but. Not really sure he's worth that, and I feel like that's what he's going to get because we really can't afford to lose him. So we do need a better backup center. Drew Eubanks, I don't like. I've said that in the past. I know a lot of people like him, but I do not. I don't think he's that as, as good as people think. Zach Collins, uh, I would love him back in Portland. So I'm going to resign Zach Collins to be my backup center over Eubanks. I think Zach Collins would be way better, so I'm doing that. And then Thibel and Reddish are probably the other two things we do. So I'm going to sign Thibel. Then I'm going to resign Reddish, and I think that's going to be my offseason. So going to assign those two, bring them back, and then uh, we'll have those guys as bench pieces. And now this is what we're looking at. So we got Damian Lord, Anthony Simon, Shaden Sharp, Matisse Thibel, Reddish, Jeremy Grant, Nasir Little, David Pertons. You got Webb and Yama, Zach Collins, Trendon Watford. So uh, we definitely could make another big move. Probably the trade deadline, we'll be looking for an upgrade to that small forward spot. Or we should maybe do it now as well. So let's go to player progression. And let's see what we got. So Dame's going down. Simon's going up, of course. Webb and Yama, 85. Shaden Sharp's up to an 80, which is awesome. I technically could technically could play Sharp at small forward, but the defense is already so bad. Putting him there would just suck even worse. So I do. I mean, we could just roll with Cameron Reddish and hope he could turn into something, but he really doesn't develop in anything in 2K. So I'm not really sure we can rely on that. There's always the idea of maybe going all in on OG and Anobi. Of course, this team has expressed interest in OG in the past. Uh, Portland has so definitely want to entertain that potentially we can maybe just go for that now if we can maybe pull this off so let's say we go to the Raptors I know this is going to cost quite a bit because this is what they want for him but 
He'd definitely be a perfect defender that Portland could use because we need defense. So it's going to have to be Breton's bad contract. And then probably every draft pick we could trade away, I guess. That Mavericks pick we got from the Nurkic trade. 2027 unprotected. And then let's say uh, maybe Nasir Little has to be in the trade to make it a little more balanced. So you got two young players. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. Two first round picks in the Sierra Little. And then let's say Keon Johnson or something like that. I can't take Keon Johnson. And I'll give you Jabari Walker. No. Okay. What about this for OG? What do they say? They don't agree to it. So we'll come back to them at the deadline and see if they change their mind. So we're going to go ahead and simulate, to si or simulate the end of the season with what we have now. And hopefully this team can be way better than they were last year. Now that Chauncey Billups is gone and we have Victor Webb and Yama. Things are looking up here in Portland. So rotationally, you got Damian Lord, Simons, Reddish, Grant, Webb and Yama, Sharp, Zach Collins, Nasir Little, and Matisse Thibel. That leaves Watford and Keon Johnson out of the rotation, which I'm totally okay with. We go take a look at our proficiency before going into the season. We are four stars, seven seconds, which is kind of nice. So we'll leave it at that. And I'll assimilate to the trade deadline where we might be making a big move for a small forward. We'll kind of see what's out there, but I will see you all at the deadline because I don't want to just go in to uh, the playoffs with this team. I think we can make one more move and feel pretty good. So we are starting the trade deadline, and I am going to be revisiting the Toronto Raptors on our OG and an OB idea. So uh, right now, they're currently rebuilding. We're the seventh seed. They're the eighth seed. So I'm going to try to see if I can snag OG and an OB from the Toronto Raptors here. That'd be kind of nice if we could. So OG and an OB for, again, it has to be Berton's contract. And then let's say we threw in, um, not Keon Johnson, like Nasir Little, and then uh, our 2025 pick. And then let's say we got like a, this Mavericks pick that we got in that Nurkic trade. So Bertans is here, little two first round picks. I'll throw a couple seconds as well if I need to. Let's see if they accept this for OG. Do they change their mind? And just like that, we offer the same exact trade. And now we have OG and Obi here in Portland. A3 overall, OG and Obi to be our brand new small forward over Cameron Reddish. Well, actually, they want to start Cameron Reddish still. Uh, I don't know what Cameron Reddish is doing on the season right now. If we take a real quick look at his splits, he's averaging 13 points per game on 39% shooting. So that's awesome. I love it. Hey, if Reddish develops into that small four, we need him, to, need him to be. That'd be awesome. But I really don't see that happening here, at least in 2K. He doesn't really develop that well. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on the bench. I like Reddish as a bench piece for this team with OG and Nobi joining us. So we're able to pick up another good defender, which is what we need 100%. Uh, there we go. Force non-starter on. We'll start OG and Obi, and that will be what we decide to do. So just like that, we get OG and Obi here in Portland. So Dame, Simons, OG, Grant, Webb and Yama, Shane Sharp, Zach Collins, Cameron Reddish, Matisse Thibel. Love it. Let's go ahead and submit the rest of the season. 32 and 26 right now. Hopefully with the addition of OG and Anobi, we can climb up the standings a little bit. At the very end of the season, we avoided the plan tournament. Webb and Yama wins rookie of the year here in Portland. 16 and 12. 41% from three. Ben Simmons, six man in Brooklyn. Robert Williams, defensive player. Garland, most improved. I think he also won MVP. Can you really win MVP and most improved in the same season? That's kind of crazy. Shout out to him, though. Let's go take a look if that was the case. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, he got MVP and most improved player in the same season. That's kind of funny. But uh, do we have like Damian Lillard still on all NBA team? I believe we do. No, he's not here. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, but we are the 60 in the West. We just barely avoided the playing tournament, which is kind of nice. We went from not making the playoffs to being in the playoffs, which is good. 26 from Dame, 19 from Simon, 16 from Webb and Yama, 15 from Grant, and then 12 from OG. Uh, 12 from Cameron Reddish and 11 from Shaden Sharp, and 9 from Collins, and then 3 from Trent and Wofford, and then Thibault with 2.5. So not too bad. Let's go ahead and see if we can find a way to maybe upset the Golden State Warriors. I don't know if we'll be able to. I kind of like my team, but again, the Warriors have a good roster. They stole Yaka Pertle from Toronto, which is kind of interesting. Game one, they're up 1-0. They beat us by two, 34-9 from Dame. Game two, we even it up, 124-111, 34-6-4. Game three, we're up 2-1, beat them by 30. Can we go up 3-1 on the Warriors here? This would be some sweet revenge for all the time the Warriors eliminated Portland every time we played them. So can we beat them in five? Yes, we can. We're on to the second round. So just like that, things are starting to turn around for us a little bit. Now we get the Clippers of Bones Highland, George Kawhi, Batum, Zubach. Andre Drummond, Mason Plumlee, Terrence Mann, and Norm Powell. So here we go. Let's see if we can take down the Clippers and make it to the Commons Finals. They beat us in game one. Bones Highland was huge in that game for them. Nice. Game two, they're up two to zero. It looks like we might be going down to the Clippers. Kind of sucks we got this far, but you know what? We may not be done just yet. We've won two straight, and all we need to do now is win game six, and we force a game seven in anybody's ball game in game seven. They want to start Shaden Sharp at the small forward spot. I mean, I love Shaden Sharp and all, but that sounds like a terrible idea. Defensively, we'd get absolutely cooked, so I'm not doing that. Let's go ahead and play it. 
this way and see if we can just win this game six in Portland at Moda Center to force a game seven. Climb back in it. Climb back in it. We're trying to get back in it, and we do lose 122 to 115. It is definitely a nice try to see that we went from not making the playoffs all the way to round two, which is nice to see. We come up short to the Clippers, and now it's just a matter of having another good offseason under our belts and get this team prolonged even more. We don't have a draft pick, so we're not going to worry about the draft because, of course, we made some trades. Player options, OG declined, so we have to resign him. Shane Sharp's going to develop this offseason. Watford, Keon Johnson, and then Webb and Yam, of course, is going to go up in overall as well. So the only thing we need to worry about is resigning OG and Anobi, and uh, we should be good. So I'm going to resign OG and Anobi to a deal, and we are going to be a very expensive team, luxury tax team, which is something that probably may never happen in real life because our owner is so damn cheap. Our new owner anyway right now with Jody Allen. So we got Dame, Keon Johnson, Sharp, Simons, OG, Cameron Reddish, Thibel. You got Grant and then Walker and then Webb and Yama, Zach Collins and Wofford. Okay. I feel like if we can get like a legitimate backup power forward, that would be phenomenal. And uh, I kind of know who I want. So I don't know if he's out here in free agency or if I could trade for him. Uh, let's see. Like Vanderbilt, of course, would be amazing. But I kind of want Jonathan Isaac. He'd be kind of perfect for what we need right now as a backup power forward. So gonna just go see if he's out there because i think he'd be kind of exactly what we need as a guy comes off the bench and just absolutely plays defense so isaac is a free agent and uh maybe i can get him on the last day of free agency and not have to give up anything so we'll go for that and he's listed at small for i think i believe so we're gonna wait till day 12 and see if he's here if he's not then uh, we'll just see if there's anyone on day 12 we can snag as our new power forward or we can spoil the trade market as well so Power forwards that we can get on day 12. We got Vanderbilt here. He's probably not going to sign for. I mean, if we can get him for 7 million, of course, that'd be amazing. But we're not going to be able to get him up for that. Okoro is here. Let's see. Bull Bull is here at 13.9. Then you have Dia. Uh, yeah, a lot of these guys you're asking for a little too much money. Josh Hart. We can bring Josh Hart back to Portland. I almost would love that. But we already have small forwards. So don't really need to do that. Grant Williams is here. He'd actually be kind of a nice backup power forward to have here in Portland. Jalen Smith. I'm going to give Grant Williams an offer. Uh, he might actually accept that. I'm going to give that to him. And then let's give... What else could we do? We got PJ Washington. That's another nice... And they got like Mo Bamba. We don't need a backup center though. Jeremiah Robinson Earl. There's actually some pretty good players here sitting here on the last day of free agency. So it's kind of nice to use this. But I think we're going to get Grant Williams as our new backup power forward. One-year deal. Player progression. Uh, Webb and Yama's up. Shaden Sharp's up to an 85. That's going to be huge for us off the bench. And then you got Jeremy Grant going down. Wofford, Collins, Grant Williams, Reddish. Keon, like I said, Reddish doesn't develop, unfortunately. Keon Johnson's up. So, we actually have the ammunition for, like, another big trade here. So, I kind of wonder if we made, like, another big trade, what position we want to upgrade. So, we got Dame, Keon Johnson, Simon Sharp. That's going to stick. And they got... I definitely don't mind keeping Reddish or Thibel as my small forward. Got Graham Williams at that backup four spot. And then... Uh, so, I guess the best position we could upgrade, at like, is the backup point guard. If we, like, had a really good backup point guard that would be kind of nice so like a Tyus Jones guy or something like that I'm gonna see if that exists out there so point guard to back up Damian Lillard take some pressure off of him is there anybody out there that makes all the sense in the world like Davion Mitchell from the Kings he's making six million he'd be kind of nice if we could steal him but that might be KPJ not really what I'm looking for you got Cole Anthony he's a free agent Monte Morris he's a free agent Tyus Jones who I just said earlier is a free agent Trey Jones actually in Minnesota could be kind of interesting. He doesn't really have the greatest three-point shot, though. Imagine Russell Westbrook coming off the bench in Portland. That ain't happening. Jalen Hood, Safino, DJ Wagner, Carson Wallace, Anthony Black, Jalen Newell. There's definitely some interesting options. Killing Hayes, that he's going to want way too much money. Okay, I'm going to explore the trade market before I just go into this next season. But if not, I'll see you all hopefully in the playoffs. So at the end of the season, this time we went from the sixth seed to the third seed. We get to play Phoenix in round one. So player stats wise, we had 26 from Dame, 21 from Simons, 19 from Vic, 15 from Shaden Sharp, and then 13 from Grant, and then 10 from OG, 8 from Reddish, 7 from Collins, and then 4 from Grant Williams. So overall, not too bad, but of course we get to play Phoenix in round one. Who have Kevin Durant, Booker, no longer have Chris Paul, they still have DeAndre Ayton, and their bench around them is just kind of awful. So hopefully we can take them down with no issues. Of course, Booker and Kevin Durant are going to be forces to be reckoned with. They both had really fantastic seasons. So this ain't going to be no easy series, but we're up 1-0. Beat them by 30. Yeah, Shaden Sharp, 24 points, is unlocking his potential here, it looks like. So game two, we're up 2-0, 130-104, 35 and 12 from Dame, 18. I mean, I mean, if Shaden Sharp is going to give us double-digit points every game, we should be pretty dangerous. Up 3-0. And are we going to sweep the Suns? 
Just like that, we take down Kevin Durant and Devin Booker pretty easily. Again, the team around him wasn't very good, so I'm not really too surprised. If they had like good role players around him, that would have been a lot harder to pull off. But now we get the seven seeded Oklahoma City Thunder. This ain't going to be as easy. We all know how the Thunder, and they got Xavier Booker with Giddy, Shea, Chet Holmgren. Jalen Williams, of course, has been an emergence this year. So yeah, we definitely got Asar Thompson as well. We definitely need to take advantage of beating the Thunder before Xavier Booker develops like crazy. Chet Holmgren is going to develop like crazy. Like this team is going to be very, very tough to beat if we don't pull it off now. So here we go. Game one, we do go up one to zero. That's a good start. 28 and 13 from Dame. Game two, we're up two to zero. 156 to 129. 42 and 11 from Dame. 26 from OG. Are we going to go up three to... Okay, I was about to say, we're going to go up three to zero on Oklahoma City. We first, we lose our first playoff game. Don't let them even it up. And we do. Of course, they're right back in it. Game five is going to be a big one. So let's go to a Simcasted game five. This one will be in Portland. It says give less minutes to Zach Collins. That's fine. Webb and Yama could play some more minutes. I need Portland to come through here or we're going to lose Oklahoma City. And I'm not sure we'll be able to beat them next year. So this might be our best opportunity to beat them. And it's not looking like we're going to do so. So we are going to lose 131 to 113. All right. Let's go to an aim annotation. And let's go to game. Let's see what we got. So we got Dame Simons. So we're going aim annotation. That leaves Zach Collins out of the rotation, I guess. And it's going to be a big one, man. Game six in Oklahoma City. If we force this back to Portland, we could be in business. But I, it's going to be tough, like I said. And they're blowing us out immediately. Wait, we come back in. I thought they were about to blow us out. Close game. Do we hang on to the lead? And we are going to hang on with 15 and 104. 33 and 4 from Simons. 26 and 8. And then 19 from OG. 17 and 17 from Webb and Yama. Game seven. Big one in Portland. And if we can take them down, we're in the conference finals and we might be able to go all the way to the finals. So we got to come out here swinging. Can't let them take the lead and blow us out. And they're taking the lead in the second. We take it back. It's back and forth game. We got the lead. Can we hang on to it though? And we are going to hang on to it. 104 to 112. We beat the Oklahoma City Thunder in game seven, 27 and 13 from Dame, 26 and 7-7. Seven, seven. So look how hard that was. So we got to take advantage of the opportunity now. We get Houston. We have Scoot Henderson, Porzingis, Shingun. This is another good team. So yeah, it's only going to get harder around here. So hopefully we can take down Houston. Game one, they do go up one to zero. Oh, man. Uh, can we even it up? No, we cannot. We're going to lose in five, aren't we? We're going to lose in five, aren't we? That's so unfortunate. I thought Vic would be the cheat code to get me as far as I wanted to, but that may not be the case. We got to come back from another. Well, I guess we didn't come back from three to one. We got to come back from three to one here to beat Houston. This one's looking good unless we blow the lead at 134, 121. That's great. All right, force the game seven back to Houston and anything is possible. That's all we need. So here we go. Just like Kevin Garnett said, can we go ahead and do just that? We're bowling them out so far. We have the lead. It's looking good. We can, oh, they're trying to get back in it, but I think we got it. All right, 103 to 132. Just like that, we've forced a game seven back to Portland or back to Houston, I should say. Now it is time to, we got to get it done. We got to get it done. Come on, baby. Can we go and win this game seven? We have a good lead right now. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's looking good. It was looking good for a second. We got to slow it down now. Can Dame get us back in this game? Slow simulation. Holy moly. This is so close. We got to get a three up three. Okay. We're down three. They're going to go up six we're down four. two minutes and 37 seconds left. This is going to be so close. We got to jump in. I feel like. All right, man, we got to come out here and play some clamp up defense. I really cannot afford to lose to Houston. I feel like we get to the finals. We won a championship. Here we go. Kevin Porter Jr. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to try to get to the rim. I'm not going to allow him playing good defense with Dame. Jingun, you want to shoot the midi, go ahead. Let's see what he decides to do. I got Webb and Yama down here and I'm jumping too early. I still get the block somehow and that's our ball somehow. So I'll take it. Oh, that was almost terrible defense. But you know what? We got the block. That's all that matters. And now it is time to put up some points. Two minutes and 22 seconds left. Let's see where we go. I actually have no idea what diff difficulty this is on. And hopefully it's on like an easy one because I'm so bad at this game. So I kind of need an easy difficulty. And that is going to be a layup from OG. Should have been an and one. Rockets call a timeout. And they got to talk things over. Looks like we're playing some press up defense. All right. Let's see what they decide to do. I could have stole it there. Scoot Henderson's got the ball. I'm going to switch on to Dame here and see if we can get a stop. Uh, let's see what Scooter Henderson's going to do. He's going to, or Scoot, Mitty. Does he miss it? He does. Did we get the rebound. No, Shingun pops up out of nowhere. Jalen Green from three. He misses it. And Shingun almost had the rebound again. But thank you, Webb and Yama, for pulling away with that. But that was super close. I almost feel like I should have pulled with Simons there. But you know what? I'm kind of glad I didn't. I wonder if I should uh, 
me get a screen from okay dame is kind of open but that's just like see i'm just so like the releases on this game i'm just not used to it. i don't play the game enough i'm always just simulating so that was really quick i gotta get used to that dame's release is super quick henderson midi and he is going to hit that because i was playing terrible defense we're down four 127 and 131 here we go we need a big basket i'm just gonna try to drive by henderson it's not gonna work og and Obi's gonna give me another screen i have him again and this time he's going to get a layup again 129 131 maybe i should just go to vic i have not used vic here we're down two gotta play good defense we're right back in it we get another possession and i'm literally not playing good defense at all and wow wow that just probably sealed the game let's go henderson shout out to you because holy moly that was a good shot um Let's see can i hit a three here that was actually a good release but it's gonna go out and just like that it's looking like we may have lost this game boys so i come up short and unfortunately henderson makes us pay and now we gotta go another season so of course we're gonna accept all these team options but i feel like i have one more move up my sleeve that i feel like could make a lot of sense and give us the most defense we could in the world or give us some more defense so got wofford keon johnson jabari walker all as free agents i mean obviously if it sounded like a Giannis, that'd be phenomenal but the guy I'm kind of thinking about, I was kind of looking at the trade deadline, and that is going to be Nick Claxton on the Nook, uh, on the Brooklyn Nets. So if I can snag him, they were really bad this season. So I don't know if they'd be willing to give him up. He's already 26 years old. So I'm going to try to get Claxton to be my new center, and then we'll have Webinyama play the four. So I don't really want Jeremy Grant anymore. So it'd be Grant for Claxton. I guess I'll have to probably give up Sid in this scenario. And I'll give up Thibel, and let's say... Let's just say it's these three for Claxton. Let's say do they do a good... No, they don't agree to that. Okay. I'll give you one of my first. Let's see if they agree to it. Then they agree. So just like that, we got Nick Claxton to upgrade our defense even further. I'm going to move Webb and Yama to the four. He's going to play power forward for us. So Vic can play power forward. So now we'll have Dame, Simon and Sharp, OG, Cameron Reddish, Victor Webb and Yama, Claxton. So we need a backup uh, power forward center and we need a backup guard. Well, actually, we kind of need all three of those. So center, I wouldn't mind Zach Collins back. Wofford. I mean, Wofford is just, I don't know. Like, I like Wofford, but not as a backup center. So, I mean, I'll probably sign Wofford with my bird rights to be on my backup power forward, I guess. So, backup guard. Got like Jalen Noel, which he's honestly looking perfect. Or Jose Alvarado. I think Jose Alvarado would be exactly what we could use as a backup point guard. Kind of need a point guard who could play some defense and be pest. So, Jose Alvarado is like perfect, in my opinion. And we'll bring Wofford back. And then I think I can bring back Zach Collins. And that should be golden i think so hopefully i can bring those two back and that should be fine and that will be it so zach collins and wofford and i think that might be it okay so wofford is gonna be our backup power forward we'll have that going for us it'll be like this lillard alvarado simons and sharp og reddish webin yama wofford Claxon, and zach collins player progression let's go see what this is about to look like and then maybe just maybe if dame is going down and overall too much we can have him be the sixth man of this team it kind of no he's still an 89 so never mind i was about to say if he's like an 84 i might have pushed him down to six man and have simons and sharp start together but that's okay we're gonna run it back this last season we brought in claxton and let's see if this team has what it takes now to go win a championship this is our last chance i'm not running it back again they want to have simons come off the bench i guess i mean sure why not i'll over listen to 2k see how it goes i'll run nine minute rotation i'll see you all at the end of the season First in the West this year. This is our last chance. If we don't win a championship here, it's not going to happen. Victor Webinyama fully unleashes 25 from him. 13 rebounds, 1.8 blocks. Dame with 24, 17, 14, 14, and then 10, and then 9, and then 8. So here we go. It's all or nothing now. If we don't win here, we're not winning at all. We got Phoenix in round one. We beat this team last year. So if they come out here and beat us this year, I am completely done. And uh, we are going to beat them in five. Thank you. And now we get the Warriors. Rockets are the team I want to face up against because the Rockets beat us last year. The Thunder are gone. So I'm so glad we don't have to deal with them because, man, I feel like that team would have been really tough to beat. Do get Golden State, though, in front of us. We beat them uh, a couple years ago. So hopefully we can just do that same thing again. So we can around and we beat them in seven. Holy moly, they almost did that to us. Okay. Houston. This is a rematch here, man. I'm ready to get my revenge. Very good team in Houston. I brought in Claxton now, so things are different, all right? I'm playing Webb and Yama at the four. Here we go. Game one, up one to zero, 107 to 100. Good start. Game two, two to zero. There we go. All it took was Claxton. Is that what you're telling me right now? Game three, they even it up, or don't let them even it up. Three to one. There we go. Can we go? Let's go, babe. We're in the finals. And now we get to play Donovan Mitchell, who ends up on the Knicks all along. Do they still have Brunson there as well? No, they don't have Jalen Brunson. I guess we've gone that far in the simulation where Brunson's contract expired. 
that's kind of crazy to think about so drew holiday mitchell rj vanderbilt robinson rupert i mean they don't even have randall and how okay mitchell is great they still have rj that's the only player from the previous three all right game one we should win this though i feel like we're the better team on paper game two up to the zero we up three to zero. yes we can let's go baby come on three to one not yet not yet don't let them do don't let them do it don't let them do it game six there we go i was about to say don't let them get back in it and just like that victor webinyama delivers the championship to portland please 2k please lot i don't know why i'm saying 2k please lottery gods man if you could somehow some way put this man victor webinyama in a blazers uniform on draft lottery day and then of course leading to draft night i'd be forever grateful i'm just saying thank you guys for watching this video hope y'all enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next one this is crushables i'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love